fire filled the neighborhood with smoke tonight, forcing some people to wear masks. It also closed the Ashmont T station. We want to go back live to Dorchester now and WBZ's Ken McLeod. Ken? Lisa, this is one of the last steps in the firefighting process. You're looking at a special flame retardant foam here on Dorchester Avenue. Heck, it looks like a snow drift that's actually covered up a couple of cars here. So this was part of the final effort to douse the flames here. I'm going to get on the other side of the fire line and show you what's going on here. As you can see, aerial trucks are still pouring water on this. As you can imagine, when a fire is this big and it lasts this long, the impact on the surrounding neighborhood really ramps up. The heavy smoke seemed to hug the ground at times, where first responders and neighbors tried to protect themselves in the shifting breeze. We smelled it, but it wasn't so, so bad up until the wind changed. When the wind shifted, then it started coming up. Then we had to push back a little bit more. In fact, locals were urged to stay inside as firefighters borrowed nearby decks to fight the flames. But some neighbors had to bail out when the smoke penetrated their homes. The uh, fire alarm went off because of all the smoke inside, so we, we everybody had to leave. At first, it was just a little bit of smoke out of the wall. Joe Greathead was among the construction workers who first spotted trouble, a little smoke on the sixth floor. But then, it, you know, once everybody was out of the building, the fire department showed up and it started blazing. It was pretty crazy, yeah. So crazy, the resulting smoke shut down the Ashmont T station, picking up over there, right? forcing riders onto buses up the street, an inconvenience that didn't worry commuter Patrick Allen. I wondered if, uh, you know, it was my block, someone I knew, if anyone got hurt, you know, things like that. Plenty of neighborhood streets were blocked off, including Dorchester Avenue. So navigating the area was a nightmare, and the flames were stubborn. Well, everybody keeps thinking it's going to end, but it's been going on for three hours and keeps seeing flames and smoke and, um, yeah, it's just kind of tense. Still, one construction worker can't help but think of all those new homes lost. People are ready to move in. Back live now, I can tell you for obvious reasons, this stretch of Dorchester Avenue between Ashmont and Washington, maybe all of the way to Gallivan, is going to be closed all night long. However, the developer of this project is saying tonight that he plans to fully rebuild it as quickly as possible. Live in Dorchester tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News. And that is going to be a tall task, Ken. Thank you. This development was being built as a mixed-use, mixed-income building with 51 low-income rental units and 32 condos for sale. The building cost $45 million in total development and was set to open on July 15th.